Today I'm going to give you a demo of what might well be the successor to Customize and Helm. Some people are even calling it the Helm Killer. This is really, really fresh off the press. It's very, very new. It's kind of only confirmed a couple of days ago. This is probably the first that you've heard of it. So, I'm going to show you a full demo of that today. But first, we need to just run through this in less than one minute so you know what I'm talking about. It's called Crow, the Kubernetes Resource Orchestrator. It's a new abstraction layer for deploying groups of resources. Google are calling it a native way for platform teams to create custom groupings of resources for consumption by end users. So there is a new kind of resource called a resource group. It's basically CRDs plus resources. It's more cloud native. It's better experience for users. It better handles things like CRD upgrades, but there's a lot more. It uses common expression language, which some of you will have heard of already. And it operates as a DAG as well. So it, it, it knows what depends on what and creates things in a particular order depending on the dependencies. A bit like Terraform. Now, back in November, AWS Labs is when this was first announced. This was an experiment, and they then went on to share it at KubeCon. But still, I hardly heard anything about this. I mean, I didn't know myself, but very little was spoken on the Internet. Suddenly, two days ago, at the end of Jan, the big three announced that they were working together on Crow. AWS made a blog post. Google made a blog post. I'll put it down below. They said that all three of them, including Azure, were all working on it. It's moved out of AWS Labs. It's now vendor agnostic in its own repo. They're adopting CNCF guidelines. Obviously, it's open source. It's not production ready yet. It's still in alpha. There's no CLI yet, but it's very early days. They don't even have a logo for this. So if you want to contribute to this, they need help right now. I really think, because all three clouds are getting into this, I really think this is going to be big in the coming months and years as well. I've left some links here to the two blog posts, but most important is we're going to look at this next. Just very briefly is the main site called crow.run, and from there you can also get to the GitHub repo. Now here is a site. As I said, they don't even have a logo. It just says Crow in, in typed out letters. They have a link to a Slack channel here. There's a GitHub repo with issues and asking people to contribute. Um, documentation and examples. I strongly recommend you go read the documentation. It'll tell you how to install Crow, which is actually a Helm chart, ironically, but it's super straightforward install. And then it'll tell you how to tackle the examples. Let me just show you the examples. So here we are. There's examples on AWS and GCP, and also there's just agnostic examples. And the one I'm going to show you is this web application with Ingress. So let's go straight over to my terminal, and let me do the demo. So here we are, demo time now. I've done the Helm chart install for Crow. I just wanted to show you. I did a get CRD and grep for Crow. And you can see here that there's a CRD. And also if I do a KAPI resources and also grep, then we have this resource type RGD or resource graph definitions. Now I've got two files here that were provided by that site. And the first one we're going to look at is this web app dash ingress dot YAML. So what we have here, it'll become clear. This is a simple example that eventually will give us a deployment, a service, and an ingress. But let's run through it. First of all, you can see the API. It's a V1, Alpha 1. Kind is resource graph def definition, or RGD. Uh, the metadata, the name is my application. This will become more clear later as well. And the spec is in two parts. It's the, the schema and the resources. The resources are those three that I just mentioned, but the schema is here as well. And in the schema, there's a kind application here. Here. It mentions here the Nginx uh, um, uh, image. Also, it's got kind of like a configuration option here to enable or disable ingress. So here's the deployment, kind deployment, replicas 3. Let me scroll down. Selector to match labels. Pretty standard, normal demo stuff. The service as well matches with the deployment selector. Then we've got uh, finally the ingress. And, you know, this is all pretty standard stuff, right? So we're back on the command line. Let's do a K apply tack F on that manifest. And now let's do a K get RGD. And we can see here, because I paused the video, it was 20 seconds later, that there you go. My dash application is now kind application is in an active state. And if we also do this, then you can see here topological order, deployment, service, and ingress. And if I do a K API resources again, 
then you can see that we now have a namespaced resource called an application and similar for CRDs and just a server as a reminder back in that manifest there it is in the schema kind application so there's a new resource of type of kind I should say application available but just to make it clear if I do a kget application across all namespaces no resources are found and if I do a kget deployment service ingress across all namespaces then you'll see that we don't have anything related to my dash application we just got the core kubernetes stuff and we do also by the way I did forget to tell you that after installing the original helm chart you do have crow running as a deployment at all times as well but we don't have my application so gonna come on to that right now so here's how it works if the users of our platform want to deploy this trio of deployment service and ingress then they must use an instance so let's take a look at this manifest for instance and as you can see it's super simple it's just a kind application and some metadata and also remember in the schema it was defined that you could actually configure the ingress if you wanted to the default was false but actually here you can do an override so it's very similar to what you can do in customize or in in helm today like with a values.yaml so let's go ahead now and create that kind application resource and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna monitor this and you see that it's in progress and there you go now it's active so let's now check for the deployment the service and the ingress across all namespaces I'm gonna look even though it's in the default namespace and there you go you can see that there is a deployment called my awesome app there is a service called my awesome app service and there is an ingress called my awesome app ingress so you can see that just simply from a, a single resource kind application you're able to spawn a whole bunch of resources and that is really really super cool by the way if I do delete one of these don't expect it to be recreated when it says here this this synced thing it's got nothing to do with git ops or anything like that you still have to run your own git ops etc and what I've done just now is I copied that instance.yaml I made a new file called instance2 I changed all the references to instance2 so you can see here we, knew, we now have a new application resource called instance2 and it's just doubled everything up we've got a new deployment called number two a new service called number two and another ingress called number two so this is super super powerful for self-serving on a platform I really love this and yeah I strongly recommend that you come to this website just go to the documentation I think it's literally just a single page it'll better explain the benefits than I could ever do and yeah that's pretty much it that's just a simple demo I believe it may be the global first demo on YouTube I'm not sure but go check it out for yourself I think it's super simple and easy to understand I can't wait to see where this is gonna go thank you for watching today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please come back to the channel subscribe if you can we're gonna cover more kubernetes as we often do also python bash linux all types of clouds and as I mentioned kubernetes always so thanks for watching again and have a great day see you soon bye bye